Elephants arrive. A half dozen pachyderms roll into Omaha, and it's a tedious process. They'll soon be at the zoo after quite an adventure that took them around the world. Zookeepers in Omaha have been busy preparing their new home. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. It's been almost five years since elephants left the Henry Dorley Zoo. We have team coverage tonight as the new herd arrives. Kelly Bartnick is focusing on the effort to bring them to the new home. Miranda Christian is at Epley, where the plane, carrying the big six, touched down about two hours ago. Let's begin with Miranda. Yep, so we're out here. I'm going to show you kind of what we've been seeing. All six elephants are off the plane, and they are on the flatbeds. Or excuse me, one, they're still trying to get on the flatbed. He was hiding from me there. But we've seen them all deplane and get on these flatbeds. It's been quite the process to watch as we've, as we've been standing here. It went a lot faster than I thought it was going to, but all six are off. There's this last one here. It seems to be the tiniest of the six. It's kind of a small box there as it's almost not even bigger than the forklift that's here, but we're going to go to this morning just after big night. All 17 elephants landed in Dallas Fort Worth Airport. The CBS affiliate there in Dallas got video of the plane landing and also got some video of police escorting the elephants on their way to the Dallas Zoo. From Dallas, the remaining 12 took off for Wichita to drop off six elephants there and then they left for Omaha where the zoo is plenty ready for their new additions. Now, director Dennis Pate told us last September, the plan for the they, the plan for once they get here, and it'll take some time before they adjust to their new exhibit. Several weeks, two to three, four weeks, something like that, depends on how they settle in. Since they've been in these BOMAs for quite some time already, we expect they're going to be pretty used to people. They've got to get used to a new type of hay, grains, um, used to being inside, transferring through doors so we can take really good care of them. Once they get through those zoo doors, they will go straight into quarantine. Now, as I said, all six are off the plane. You can actually see here is the sixth one being taken to the last flatbed. It will be loaded up and head on to the Henry Dorley Zoo. So it's been quite exciting to watch all six of these guys being taken off the plane and they'll head on their way to the zoo. And of course, we have live coverage there and we'll keep bringing you updates as they get there. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, good job, Miranda. Keep an eye on that crated cargo. Some animal rights groups are criticizing the decision to bring elephants to Omaha. The Animal Protection Coalition called on the USDA to inspect the elephants. Today, the Animal Legal Defense Fund released a statement saying this, snatching elephants out of the wild and forcing them to live in tiny enclosures that deny them everything that is natural and important to them has nothing to do with legitimate conservation and everything to do with selling tickets. The controversy did not keep the elephants from coming to Omaha. Now the zoo is getting ready to help them adjust to life in their new home. Kelly Bartnick continues our team coverage. He joins us now live with the latest. Kelly. Jenny, we're here outside the uh, back side of the zoo here. We're back at the back gate where they'll be bringing the elephants in. Uh, it's been a long process of waiting here this afternoon. They're keeping the official route secret as to how they're bringing them from Epley here to the zoo in South Omaha. But the, we're told they'll be coming this direction down this street. Earlier, the, it was blocked off a little bit with some orange cones for safety, but they've been since been removed. They'll bring them here, put them inside one of the gates here just behind me. But uh, people actually waiting. Uh, hoping to catch a glimpse, knowing they won't get to see much, that they are in crates. Um, you see a grandmother with her two grandchildren there. Earlier, there were others uh, as well. This has been such a long process, though, that a lot of folks have given up and gone home. Uh, of course, they will be the feature exhibit here at the African Grasslands exhibit at the Henry Dorley Zoo. Um, the whole purpose of bringing them, uh, the zoo's rationale was that they are in, they were in an area of Swaziland where uh, it was under severe drought and they will actually, in, in the zoo's perspective, get better care and uh, better food options here. That's why they 
brought them over here. Of course, they will be a significant uh, exhibit at the zoo when it is finally reopened. Uh, we are waiting. We will bring you uh, the elephants as they come. We're waiting for them to show up, anticipating it will still be a continued process. And just as long as it's taken, what, three hours to get them on to the trucks from the plane, it might take them that long to get them out of the crates into the zoo as well. So we will be here and we will bring you that tonight at 10. Reporting live at the zoo, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.